I promised I'd make her look cool. Apparently being a bald beauty queen is the worst thing that happened in the history of the world. Did you choose me for the surgery because I slept with you? Yes. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna scrub in for surgery. You should ask Christina, she really wants You're it. You're Katie's doctor. And on your first day, with very little training, you help save her life. You earn the right to follow her case through to the finish. You, you shouldn't let the fact that we had sex get in the way of you taking your shot. Hey. Hey. You almost died today. Yeah. I almost died today. I can't. I can't remember our last kiss. All I could think about was I'm gonna die today and I can't remember her last kiss, which is pathetic, but the last time we were together and happy, I wanna be able to remember that. And I can't, Eric. Can't remember. Glad you didn't die today. It was a Thursday morning. You were wearing that ratty little Dartmouth t-shirt you look so good in. The one with a hole in the back of the neck. <laughs> you just washed your hair and you smelled like some kind of Flower. I was running late for surgery. You said you were going to see me later. Then you leaned to me. You put your hand on my chest. And you kissed me. Soft. It's quick. Kind of like a habit. You know, like we do it every day for the rest of our lives. He went back to reading the newspaper, and I went to work. That was the last time we kissed. Lavender. My hair smelled like lavender from my conditioner. Lavender. If you knew this was your last day on Earth, how would you want to spend it? It's so sad. She's not talking to him. He's not talking to her. He said that when he retired, I would become chief. No, 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 no. He asked Spurk. I don't think they're going to make it. He said, hey, Chef, you're my man. Not Burke. How can two people be in a relationship and not talk? I am supposed to be chief. You left without me. Now you're not talking to me. I was a jerk. Sometimes boyfriends can be jerks. It doesn't mean you stop talking to them. You get that I'm saying I'm sorry, right? You yelled at me for no reason, and then you walked away, and now you show up here. Of course I showed up. Why wouldn't I? You don't trust me? I do. Okay, well, this is how it works. You fight sometimes, and somebody apologizes. Well, how am I supposed to know that? You've never done this before. No, I've never done this before. Hmm. Okay, all right. What well, this is... <sighs> From now on, you can expect that I'm going to show up. Even if I yell. 
even if you yell. I'm always going to show up. Okay. Okay. Mm. You are going to make an excellent chief. We all think we're going to be great. Hey. Well, I'm very optimistic about this new viral cocktail. Adding an IL-2 should make a very big difference. We're close. We're gonna open this bottle of champagne soon. I know. You okay? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Listen, clinical trials can be a grind. If this is getting to you, I can do this one on my own. I'm not a quitter. I don't need you to rescue me. Let's just do this. Because waiting is a bad idea. We're talking about your health. Dr. Shepard can say no to such a problem. What am I saying no to? Is there any way you can push back the surgery? A few hours, my boyfriend's flight was canceled. I want him to be here. Greta? He has some questions. He's so smart about this stuff, I don't even know what to ask. Are you reconsidering the procedure? Andre and I had so little time together. We met in January. I mean, this treatment could kill me, right? You have a very aggressive tumor. Even if we don't operate, you're looking at a few months. But I'd spend them with Andre. Do you know how precious that is? Time with the person you love. Greta, please. I'm not saying I want to cancel. I'm just saying I want to wait for Andre. He'll help me to decide. Okay, we can't wait He'll be for... here at three. And the Job offer still stands. Think about it. Let me know. are the direct result of our relationship to our parents. Well, you're looking all thoughtful. I was just thinking how pretty you are. And also how pretty our children would be. Children? Like multiple? A child. Let's just start with one and see how it goes. You want to start? I'm just saying you're pretty. That's all I'm saying. That every relationship that Hey, you paged? I like to say hello to my wife every 48 hours. You didn't come home last night. I told you every Tuesday night I'm trolling for cases. Last night a guy crashed his motorcycle, had rebar jammed in the base of his skull, and Shadow Shepherd let me do the extraction. You know what I've been doing? Paperwork. You know what I have to look forward to today? More paperwork. This job is just... I would love to have something jammed in my brain. That way I'd see the inside of an OR. Okay, well... Uh, are you gonna come home early tonight? Because we can order in and I have some stuff to tell you. Yeah, I'll be there. I have to go among Sloan's post ops. I hate that you're so happy. Derek, there's gonna be a lot of dirty sex for you tonight. Look forward to that. See you're alive for myself. Meredith. <laughs> Meredith? Hey, I heard about Christine. Is she alright? No, she's not alright. No one's alright. That idiot is clearing everyone for surgery like they're fine and they're not fine. I need to talk Just to leave you. it alone, Derek. It was one night in jail. You drive too fast. Just forget about it. I don't want to talk about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. All I do is worry. All the time I spend every minute of every day worrying that I'm going to get a phone call that you've wrapped your car around a pole. That's why I left you in jail. So that just for a little while, I would know that you weren't dying like you were dying on that table. That's what I think about every time you pull out of the driveway. I'm right here. I'm okay. We're okay. I was pregnant that day. I was pregnant and I lost it. I, uh, didn't say anything. Could I help you? If you want to help me, your driving is something you can control. Just do that. Just do that.
We can create problems where none exist. Come back to me. I'm not coming back. You miss it. What's to miss about Nero? Me. <laughs> we decided it was a bad idea. Well, that was before. I wanted to try to get Zola back. I miss you. Let's come back for one day. Remember the mystery, magic, Leonis, and then Jonas, <laughs> Astro Sento. <laughs> <laughs> should we not settle? I don't know. We should go to sleep. Do you want to keep the lights on or off tonight? On, please. Christina said she would pull the trigger if it comes to that. You're my wife. Can we make the decision together if we're going to throw in the towel? Sounds fair. It's not going to be easy on you if I start to lose it. Oh, don't worry. Your project, even with all your marbles. <laughs> I brought you something. You did? I'd barely do my genome. <gasps> you did? Yeah. High risk for liver cancer and prostate cancer? Whoa. Yeah. You're telling me? Male pattern baldness. Late onset, apparently. Mm-hmm. Heroin addiction? I'm a real prize. Oh. That's all crap shoot. We didn't get one single definite. We all got maybes. Yeah, maybe we live forever. Maybe we do, and maybe I become a bald heroin addict. <laughs> but I am going to be in there. I know. You'll be looking into my eyes and holding my hand and feeding me ice chips. And that's just where I want you, just there. Mm. Christina can run interference and handle the bossy nurses. And if I decide I want drugs... Fine. And... Whatever you want. Or if I poop on the table. If you what? All that time you spent convincing yourself the sleeping monster wasn't... Yeah! Not in the traditional abracadabra, genie in a bottle kind of way. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God, she's so perfect. <laughs> yeah. What if he's a monster? He's not going to be a monster. What if he hates her? What if he steals her toys? Well, he is going to steal her toys because that's what kids do. Can I have some more? She's just so happy. You don't have any idea what's going to happen to you. I think she will handle him just fine. You're wearing a princess crown. I am. She's very good at getting people to submit to her will. <sighs> good mm. you. Why don't you give me some more tea, sweetheart? <laughs> Delicious. I probably can't write about this in the article, but something about how my toothpaste hit the sink made me realize that the array could be designed asymmetrically. Makes it more versatile. Exactly. So what you're saying is that you can't spit without having a genius idea. Oh, well, it may not work. Zola, are your socks on? It's a revolutionary global spit. Derek, are you coming by the lab today? We're starting to lose all our uh, phase two momentum. Yeah, actually, they're setting up my new office today. Oh, you know what? I got to grab a sensor. The guys are going to duplicate one. Ah, yes, the Washington guys, map in the brain. You are still going to have time to do this too, though, right? Yeah, I hope so. I plan to. All right, well, let me know when you're ready. Oh, yeah, call me. We'll hang out. I haven't seen a blow-off like that since high school. It was not a blow-off. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. You can't do this. If I can do surgery, I can stand and talk to people. I have to. It's not worth it. See, you've never really been on board with this whole project. No, Derek, at some point, you have to ask yourself, is your presence here going to do more harm than good? Mm. Trust me, you're better off calling this thing off than to get up on that stage and... Vomit, or worse. Earth, I have no choice. This is what we do. We push through. Okay. We like to think we're a different species from our patients. I missed it. You did. Are they all gone? Got hot shots? Were they pissed? No, actually, it went pretty well. They all seemed sold. Except for the Estonian guy. He was lost. Wait, what happened? 
Look. Good evening. Dr. Shepard welcomes you all and regrets that he couldn't be here with you tonight. He has taken suddenly and very disgustingly ill. I told you, I've heard it enough times. You did my speech. Well, when my husband was first approached about this project, I was not on board. I kind of did my speech. Oh my God. <laughs> time away from our family, our marriage, my work, his work. But as I soon realized, as you will tonight, that this is a final and this is worth every minute of your precious time. So let's get started. Everyone knows. Kept in business by people who've learned that lesson the hard way. You made waffles in our kitchen. Oh, no, not me. Your sister in between weepy phone calls with the fiance. Skydivers, bull riders, people whose bold ideas can often result in broken bones and smushed spleens. Well, being away from home is hard. I've been in DC for so long, I know how she feels. You're the one who brought her here. She doesn't need your sympathy. She needs you to send her home. Now, did she say that? I'm sure she's telling James all about how we're holding her hostage. Well, we can negotiate the terms of her release when I get home later tonight. Tonight? You and I have a surgery scheduled this afternoon together. Another meeting popped up. I'm gonna have Amy cover for me. Mm. Sorry. No, not you. The waffles are amazing. I'm gonna miss having a hostage. Hey, stranger. Hey! What are you drinking? You know what? Doesn't matter. You can dump it out. This is better. Champagne is perfect because I was wrong about the Amelia situation. She doesn't want to leave. She wants to stay. She can take over your service. She can help out with the kids. You can bring Matt to your heart's content. I don't have to pull my hair out. It is the answer we've been looking for. This is great. It is, right? Yeah, Amy can move to Seattle, and we can move to D.C. That wasn't the point of my story. I met on Meredith. I met the president. He came to us. We walked him through everything we've been working on. And then at the end of it, he said that he wanted to make this a weekly thing. They offered me a position at the NIH. It's the job. I'll be right there on the ground doing the actual brain mapping work myself. They've given me everything. But we can't just pack up and move across the country. They have promised to have an attending position waiting for you at James Madison Hospital. The thing about the bold moves, they're terrifying. Could end in nothing but tears and broken bones. If Amy wants to move to Seattle, she can take over my practice without me hovering over her. And she will thrive. Alex is leaving. Christine is moving on. They're, they all have their next step. This could be our next step. This should be our next step. And that's exactly what makes them so damned exciting. And you were supposed to be stepping back. You said, take this year and make it count, and I'll make sure you can do it. And you lied. Sorry. I lied. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So you got this thing, and I gave up that piece. And I found a way to make it work with my job, my kids, and my research with less help from you. And You're I You're not did a victim. It. I'm killing myself just as much as you are. And then you wanted more back pieces and, and more pieces. And now this is just so too much. You can't just drag us away so I can come father. live in your shadow. Shadow, you have a job. You're going to be working at James Madison. Right. That's how my father got his first job here. They wanted my mom, so she had to call the university and pull some strings and find something for Thatcher to do. It's called a trailing this spouse. This is not like this that. This is exactly that. And it's not what I signed up for. You know, you're, you're being selfish. Well, I have to be, Derek, because you believe that your career is more important than mine. At this moment in time, it is. No, not at this moment. Always. You will always be that hotshot surgeon, and I will always be that young intern who fell in love with you. That's how you see yourself. That's your problem. I can't do anything about that. That is not how I see myself. That is the issue here. DC, you can do your surgeries, you can do your research, you can do the portal veins. There is nothing you can do here that you can't do. There. But I don't want to. We're not just talking about my job, Derek. We're talking about my life. I grew up here. I made my family here. I helped to rebuild the hospital here that has my sister's name on it, my mother's name, my name. I live here. My life is here. I don't want to leave. Whenever we think we know the future, and my family? I am simply saying, I am not going anywhere. I am staying here. We can choose to be afraid of it. To stand there, trembling. Every day is different. My 
The ABCs of trauma are a This was already a bad idea. You're trying to make it worse? She doesn't want to know him. He said exactly the same thing. Okay, then why are you trying to force it? Because he's my friend. He's our friend. He's family. And this is one of the reasons why you didn't want to leave Seattle in the first place, remember? You have family here. Roots. Are you kidding me? What? I have to have dinner with the sister I don't know and the bio dad she hates because you gave up your chance to work for Obama? You're going to play that card? Of course you are, because you'll be playing that card until the end of freaking time. I'm out. No, I am so sick of your passive aggressive... I'm out. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I am just trying to help out here. I'm trying to help you, and I am trying to help them. I come from a big family. It's crazy, it's messy, but it's good. And I want that for you. I want you to have that. She's your sister, and he's practically your father. And Zola needs more black people in the family because I'm running out of ways to braid her hair and Bailey won't show me anymore. Always hopeful that I'll make a change. Fine. You want Richard to come to dinner, call Pierce to make sure she's okay with it. Me? You want Richard to come to dinner. You win, accept the win. Don't push for more. Okay, but shouldn't you be the one who's making the... Accept the win. Did you take the pot roast out of the oven? Uh, I shut the oven off because I don't want that thing to get cold. I'll take it out. Really? You're not really a chef. And you are. I'm better than you. Why would you say something like that? Because you called the pot roast a thing. But it's not true. You're not better than me. Have you ever cooked a meal before? Okay, wait. Time out. Well? Well, what? You called a time out. You have to say something when you call a timeout. That's how it works. It is not a mute button. It is right now. That's not how it works. I need a timeout. I need a break from you, from the fighting, from the pot roast. Because the table isn't set, the candles aren't lit, the guests are going to arrive in 30 minutes. I still need to take a shower. I need a timeout. Don't look at me like that. I could use a shower, too. When I was a kid, to my mom's VCR, I'd take it apart piece by piece, then put it back together again. I left my phone at the lab. By the time I figured out I left it, I was already at the airport coming to you. And she picked up your phone, why? I don't know, she probably thought it was me. I called her from the airport, and then she told me she spoke to you. But inevitably, there was always a piece or two left over. Something I didn't quite know what to do with. Is that it, is that everything you have to say? That's all there is to say. I've told you everything, the whole story, all of it. But if you want, I'll go through it all again. And she's your research fellow? Yes. Just your research fellow. So what do you do with that piece? Meredith. I wish I could believe you. You can. I'm here. I know how this works. I was your resident once. Seems like you came home because you thought you were in trouble. Do you try to fit it back in? I came home because we're in trouble. I came home to work on this. On us. I came home. Do you try to make it work? Can't you get somebody to cover? Or do you decide you can live without that missing piece? You should spend the day with the kids. They'd love it. They really miss you. We forget what we had once. We forget what it's like to live with a thing. Not that we need, but that we want. Kids? Just put him to bed. Derek? Wait, just. Derek? Just wait. That's why it's so important. For us to remind ourselves. For us to remember. I am calling Post-it. Zola and Bailey. And tumors on the walls. And ferry boat scrub caps. I thought DC was everything. And I was wrong. 
You. You. You're everything. I love you. And I'm not gonna stop loving you. Meredith, I can't live without you. I don't want to live without you. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to prove it. I can live without you. But I don't want to. I don't ever want to. Just because we can live without something, it doesn't mean we have to. Neuroscience tells us it activates the same parts of the brain as habit-forming addiction. It makes us feel like we can do anything, be anything, achieve anything. And once we taste it, we want more. You want to go again? I guess not. Bailey's up. What if I change my flight? I could come by the hospital before I get to the airport and we could find an empty on-call room. Huh. I have work to do at work. I can't do you too. Okay, well then it's settled. Let's go again now. Come on. No, absolutely not. You are terrible, terrible influence. We are getting up now. I know. Come on. Why don't you make yourself useful and go change Bailey's diaper? You're a tease. And you are terrible. <laughs> Have you seen my phone? It's in your hand. Not this one. This one's mine, the government one, the one I have to return. I don't know where I put it. Couch cushions? Hey, Zola, hurry up, honey, or you won't have time to eat breakfast. Are you nervous? It's not like you go to prison if you don't return the phone. I mean, I don't go to prison for that, right? No, I meant resigning. Giving up your job isn't a small thing to do. Well, it is in comparison to everything here. It is. But Meredith, I meet with the president's council in the morning. I give them my final report, my official recommendation, and then I'm done. I'll be home before you know it. It's good. It's time. Oh, hey, you're here. Yeah, we live here. But you had a flight. And you, yesterday you were going on and on about some early surgery that you had. The point is, you're not supposed to be home. And so my surgery got pushed. And uh, were you wearing that yesterday? Amelia, I think you got your son. Hmm. Hey, uh, I was just, um. Uh, her cell phone was... Thank you. Yeah. 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 Who wants breakfast? Anybody? We have coffee? Well, I should... Uh, yeah, I should. I'm... I'm gonna go. <laughs> hey, little guy! Who's here? Wanna go find your sister? All right, let's go. So, your sister and Owen? She told me last night. You knew? Your sister's doing well and you didn't tell me? I was supposed to tell you that? Yes. I don't even remember where I put my phone. Now I have to remember someone else's sex life. I gotta get to the phone. I'm gonna be Oh, okay. So we're gonna go again, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Best wife ever. Mm -hmm. I just wish, I don't know, you could stay or I could come with you or something. I'll be back soon, you know that. I know. I know, I just feel like I just got you back and now you're going again and I... I just have to stay here. You're right, you do. You have to stay here. Don't move. Wait for me. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> 